Hey guys, it's me and I am and what's up? How are you doing? My voice sounds weird right now and I don't know why. So it's summer vacation for me already and I know a lot of you guys are nearing that point in life where it's almost time for warmth and happiness. Or if you live where I live, it's already warm and happy, but the issue is the warmth is kind of taking away the happiness because it's so warm. But anyway, to celebrate that, I decided I was going to have another summer giveaway. Not another summer one, because this is the first one, but another giveaway. I will yet again be giving away an awesome It's Me, Hannah M t-shirt to a, co a random commenter. So comment down saying, hey, I really want to win a shirt. That'd be cool or something like that. Just let me know that you'd be interested in winning. And I will choose between one of you guys. But, but here is the catch. It was a little, little catch, this is a little, little catching, the catching, catch, catch. The t-shirt design that I have been making so far, when I say making, but in reality there's like four of them in existence, but the t-shirt design's kind of bland and boring. It's it's cool, I like it, but it's, it's very professional and basic, so if any of you guys out there have the ability to design cool things on like Photoshop or even on like paint if you want to. I don't care. I will be accepting t-shirt designs on my email. It's mehannahm at gmail.com. I will be accepting those until June 15th and then from June 15th to June 20th we'll have like a little poll thing to see which one people like best and if your t-shirt gets chosen you will be able to get a free t-shirt. It's me Hannah t-shirt of the one you designed as well as some random person in the comments. So hey, yay happiness! The contest will be over on June 20th so if you want to win a cool It's Me Hannah M t-shirt, which I can't show you because I don't even know what it looks like yet, then comment down below and that'd be really cool because yes, giveaways and sending stuff to people is fun. Speaking of giveaways, here's my last giveaway winner wearing her shirt. Ah, isn't that so cool? It actually like sent to her and she got it and Oh, cool things are cool and gifts and stuff. But now, let's actually have a video here and so, instead of me just trying to get people to do stuff for me. So we all know that in a little over a week, this book will be made into the best movie ever, we hope. But before that happens, I kind of felt like I needed to have a talk with you guys about what happens when books like this are turned into movies. So you know what, if you haven't read the book yet or anything like that, or you don't care, then just Bye guys, thumbs up, all that fun stuff, but if you have, let's have a talk. So I know a ton of people in the world are in love with this book and John Green and all this stuff, but you guys need to realize that Augustus Waters is the most pretentious, egoistic character he's ever written about. But the point is, he was written to be kind of pretentious and egotistical in a romantic manner, which is the point. And the issue is when, when from pages, from pages it's all romantic and everyone wants an Augustus Waters, but when you see it on screen and when you see like an actual teenage boy saying the words, it sounds like the worst BS ever. If any of you guys have seen that it's a metaphor clip, the whole like, oh no, I, I, if I do not smoke it then it is not, it is not the problem, it's a metaphor you see. He sounds like such a pretentious person, but the issue is that's what he is supposed to sound like because he is a teenage boy who who played basketball and was sporty and was probably very popular and popular with the ladies and then all of a sudden he got diagnosed with cancer and his whole life crashed around him. He became the weak one, the like the the one that people kind of felt sorry for. So when he was finally over all that he became this, he, he tried to get his personality, his past personality back, which made him pretentious and egotistical. But it's because he's trying to be like that. And then as towards the end of the movie, as, or as the end of the book, as we all know what happens, he crumbles and you see his, his masculinity fall off. And why am I saying this in such a profound way and why am I using words like profound I don't know but you see it all crumble and you see the real Augustus Waters and he's weak and he's loving and that's all that matters to him and the issue is when lots of people who love who love this book right here this book that I love so very much as well as John Green's other books when people see Augustus and all his characters in real life on screen they grow to hate them and I don't want that to happen with you guys. I want you to understand that he is supposed to sound exactly how he does in real words. He's not supposed to be a, a, 
a beautiful romantic even though he kind of still is he's supposed to be a teenage boy flirting with another girl and using words that are way too big for his vocabulary anyway let me know let me know if you guys plan to see the fault in our stars movie let me know if you're one of those people that hate the book or if you love the book or if you're just going to marry the book or you want to shoot john green in the face just let me know i'm kind of curious to see what your reactions are i want to know um what was it, what's a book that you would recommend to me i don't know i need new books what's a book tell me please and I love you all this much because you guys are so amazing. I'm so close to another 15, or not another 15,000, but my first 15,000 subscribers. And oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. So I love you all and thank you all for being you. And oh my gosh, never stop being you, please. Please be you, always. Bye.